<clears throat> Whew, hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it as sometimes I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel. So if it is not your story, uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt and leave the rest for who it was meant to reach. My loves, we're going to be looking at how you're feeling towards your person and how your person's feeling towards you and the mutual energy between you both. I have been missing in action because I have still not recovered from being sick, my lovelies. My lungs are really, really um, struggling at the moment. And it's so funny because I have Gemini in my eighth house. So that's <laughs> one thing I got to look out for. Virgos, this is you, this is your person, this is the mutual. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. Cross watchers, like I said, please don't get mad at me. Take your story and leave the rest for who it was meant to reach. Virgos, let's see what we got going on. Something's telling me to start in your person, although that lovers in reverse is super duper hot. But I'm gonna start here in your person. We have the Empress in reverse, Taurus energy, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups, and the King of Swords in reverse. Someone's super duper frustrated. Super duper frustrated with you, Virgo. I feel odd. Mm hmm. I feel super duper odd. And I don't like it. It's a very confused energy. Very frantic, very sporadic, very, ugh, I don't know. This person feels, <laughs> yeah, this person feels super, like, odd. Like, it's very strange. Like, they feel, uh, I feel almost like I'm being rushed, like, full of anxiety. Like, I don't know which way to turn, but I know I gotta go somewhere or do something or say something. Or It's a very frantic energy with the Empress in reverse, my loves. Um... I feel like they they feel like you're being very cold towards them. Very bitter, very dismissive, very no if ands or buts. The Empress in reverse is almost like a like a a limiting of growth. Um it's also somewhat a, a little bit of a bitterness. This is a parent as well, so it could be that they're thinking you're being a a, a bitter baby mama baby daddy type of energy um for some of you maybe it, it has to do with for some of you i feel like court i feel some of you like they they do feel like why are you being so mean something about court um damn yeah i'm getting that strong um They feel like there's a loss of some sort. I lost you. I lost her. I lost him. There's a loss of some sort, and it's almost like stunting them from moving forward. Stunting them from moving on. The Nine of Swords. There's that frantic, sporadic, crazy anxiety energy. The Nine of Swords is anxiety. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still coughing up a storm, loves. It's been like two months. I'm sick of it. Um... But it's like this anxiety feeling is here, this stress is here, this, some of them depression, not sleeping, overthinking, um, just riddled with fuel, I, I, I think, like, um, like, like there's so much energy, but they don't know where to place it at the moment. And I think it's because they're just like so stuck on you, Virgo, so stuck on what you're doing what they could have done there's a very strange energy of them not being able to move forward or move on and they're very much so in their head about it i do feel like this person is like i don't know if y'all are on not on talking terms not on great terms but they're like i don't think that you guys are horrible you just they're just in your energy for some reason i just don't think that this is someone you see all the time 
um, or maybe just don't talk all the time or something. The Four of Cups talks about disappointment. It talks about sadness, regret, remorse. Um, not so much remorse. It can, but almost like they're beating themselves up. All right. The Four of Cups is like feeling of rejection, feeling neglected, feeling like, darn, what did I do? Why did I do that type of energy? Um, there's something about legs, like like medias, like uh, like pantyhose or something. I'm hearing broken pantyhose or torn pantyhose. And I keep hearing, what could I have done different? What could I have done different? There's something very strange. I don't know. There's something very, very strange here. I, I'm just so stuck on this, like, legs, like the back of someone's legs, like their calves, or something about pantyhose. But whoever this person is, Virgo, they're feeling very much so, like, stressed out over you depressed over you in their feelings are definitely getting hit hard in their feelings all right and with this king of swords here i do think that there is a very big uh lack of communication i don't know if they're talking to you about how they feel i don't know if y'all are even talking period or if y'all are talking um on talking terms there's some weird energy Someone thinks someone's pregnant. Someone thinks that someone's expecting or someone thinks that... That they're not going to see their children or can't see their children or won't see their children or something like that. There's something very strange about that. Um, I'm getting a lot of Aries energy and I don't know why. Because there's no Aries in here at all. This is very strange because I feel like um, I feel like there's also an outside source, Virgo. Like I feel like there's like um, someone else who is. Maybe like um, an Aquarius. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting an Aquarius and I'm hearing like a, like a name that starts with F. I can't make it out. But also like possibly that someone else in your energy lost a child maybe. Um, like if you have, um, like if someone you, you share children with is about to have another child with someone else or something. Um and they, I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting, I'm getting something very strange, like they're going through something, I feel like this is like the mother or father of your children, and they're going through something, but for most of you, I do feel like there's something else happening here with someone just very much so in their feelings over you, Virgo. I'm hearing that song, Look At Me Now, by Chris Brown. Very strange. I feel like someone's going to be served with, like, court orders or paperwork or something. Gosh, I just feel a very strange energy. I feel like there's a lot of chaos in, in a lot of people's energy over you, though, Virgo. I feel that strong. Like, I'm getting at least three or four energies, maybe even five. Two women and three male, two feminine and three masculine. There's something about a boy. Because I'm, I'm hearing Marty, Marty Grouch Jr. Uh, from Harry Potter.
there's also like a lie that's going to come to the surface oh my god i'm getting like a billion different stories loves i don't know what it is but over here in your energy in your energy virgo You have the lovers, Gemini energy, <coughs> the nine of cups, <laughs> the two of pentacles, and the world, Sagittarius energy. I feel strong like you're kind of just trying to find new beginnings here. I feel that strongly. I'm getting cancer energy even. With this lovers in reverse, this talks about separation, distance, and detachment. And I think that you have mastered the act of detaching from those that are not great for you, that are not good for you. Those connections that do not uh, fulfill your purpose, your soul, your soul's contentment. The lovers, in, the lovers is the twin flame card as well. And in reverse, my loves, this is quite literally like separation i'm getting strong like when you're pull like somebody melting like almost like you're pulling someone like like rubber like pulling them apart i feel that strongly that's what i'm seeing like it's a very painful sticky situation but i think that you have learned the art of detachment um and with the nine of cups here it's like you're not looking this is also karmic right twin flames are karmic and i feel strongly like <coughs> excuse me for some of you it's like you've detached from smoking as well i don't know why i'm getting that but i'm getting like bad habits you have removed yourself from bad habits the nine of cups is um i almost said over drinking for some of y'all nine of cups is uh over over consumption for sure um over materialism or being overly materialistic things like that but the nine of cups is happily ever after it's contentment it's the happy home it's feeling at peace and that's what i think that you want no more karmic situations no more escapism using um you know uh binge eating binge drinking binge smoking binge you know dating things like that it's like you've learned that you are just in this era of I want to be happy, I want to feel happy, I want to be a good person, and I want someone good next to me. And I think that's where you're at right now, Virgo. I'll be good to you if you be good to me. And that's how I feel your mind is set right now. It's like, I, I'm tired of either going back and forth with the same person in different bodies, you know? You know, when you meet the same people just different people but they're the same person you're meeting the same thing but in a different like form you know what i mean it's like you're kind of jumping and, and you're tired of jumping and juggling from the same energy to the same energy and i think that that's what with this two of pentacles you're kind of like i'm done i'm done with that like i'm ready to see what more the world and the universe can offer me the world means um quite literally the world but also cycles also completion I'm done with that. I'm done with... Oh, I just heard goose eggs. I'm done with goose eggs. Like, silly geese. Or, like, for some of you, like, I'm hearing, like... Oh, excuse me. Even, like, chicken heads. But I'm also feeling, like... <coughs> excuse me. Also done with, like, not being good to your body. I feel that strong, Virgo not being good to your body as in like overeating or like over you know not not exercising or over drinking and just not being great to your body i think that you're over that cycle of escaping or um burying things with with other substances um and for some of you it could be just being alone 
and you kind of release that codependency cycle and I feel like that's what this is this is completion so a lot of people are feeling in their feelings for you because you have disassociated yourself and you're no longer that same that same Virgo that you used to be right now you're kind of like I'm ready to see what everything has to offer me or for some of you you have your pick of the crop right wow in the mutual energy the ace of cups in reverse and the eight of swords i feel like this is more an affirmation i'm releasing all fake love i'm removing myself from all fake and genuine love no more karmic soul ties I do feel that this is an affirmation, Virgo. Ace of Cups in reverse means something that is not um, honest, true, deserving, right? The, the loving cup is not overflowing. It's being poured out. Anything that's already, like, what is it called when you're, like, drinking from a kid's cup and there's, like, fishies in there, you know, like, like the food <laughs> that they're eating? Backwash? Like, no more water with backwash in it. Like, you're pouring it out and getting something fresh and something new to drink. The Eight of Swords, releasing yourself, um, coming unbound, coming untrapped, no longer feeling restricted, no longer feeling stuck, or turning a bad, uh, turning a blind eye to bad behavior, poor decisions, poor, poor patterns. I release myself from all toxic love. And that's why there's so many different people like in their feelings or going through different things because you are cutting those ties. And what happens when you cut like the like a string to like a rubber band? Like if you're holding a rubber band and someone just cuts it, it's going to hit someone. It's going to rebound and hit someone right in the face or right in the mouth. And that's why a lot of the people in your energy that you've either dealt with in the past or did not do you right are kind of getting like a lashing right in the mouth or in the eye something you know Virgos, that is what i have for you i hope this helps i hope this <laughs> resonates um underneath the deck you have the six of swords smooth sailing moving forward um and i also feel like you're walking away from a lot of player player energy or inconsistent energy um that you maybe weren't re seen um in a good faith right like you had those rose gold colored glasses on um expect to hear from someone my left ear just started ringing but uh that is what i have for you my lips i hope this helps <laughs> i hope it resonates sending you lots of love light peace clarity may peace always surround you i love you so much and i'll talk to you soon